asks us to find the labeled angle, and I'm using an exterior angle to a triangle. And one fact that's true about exterior angles in a triangle is that the exterior angle is equal to the sum of the two remote interior angles. Sum of two remote interior. So I'm going to try to use that fact on all of these figures to hopefully get a, an easy calculation. Let's see. So in the first one, I can see that the exterior angle is the x, and some of the two remote interior, so not this one, this one's too close, this one's the uh, next to one, the, con uh, the consecutive one. We're going to go across and go to the two remote ones, which are 23 and 45. So the sum of the two remote interior angles would be 23 plus 45, and therefore x is equal to 68 degrees. And that's it. That's the solution to the problem. So let's try the example on the right, see if this is more difficult, because the x is in a different place now. But we're going to use the same philosophy. The exterior angle in this diagram on the right is 146 degrees. The two remote interior angles are 82 and x. So I'm going to go x degrees and 82 degrees. So in this case, we only have to subtract 82 in order to isolate the variable x. So as I subtract 82 degrees from both sides, I end up getting 4. 6, so we have 64 degrees is equal to x degrees, and therefore x must be equal to 64. There we go, so x is 64. So why don't you pause the video and try one on your own then, using this fact that the exterior angle is the sum of the two remote interior angles. Try this one out for size. So assuming you pause the video, try this out on your own, notice that 123, the exterior angle, is equal to the sum of the two remote interior angles, so x and 67. If we now subtract 67 from both sides, then we will, it look like, looks like we'll have to do a little bit of regrouping here. 13 minus 7 is 6, and 11 minus 6 is 5. So it looks like we're getting 56 degrees as the missing angle x.